Right, page 10, first example, example one. Calculate the cost of a concrete mixer Concrete mixer with an output of 0.1 cubic meters every five minutes given the following. You bought it at 16,000. After 8,000 hours, it's only valued 800 bucks. The mixer uses seven liters of fuel and the cost is six rand per liter per day. And three liters of oil, which cost 14 rand per liter per week. All right, so some information here that you need to derive yourself, right? When I say per week, what am I saying? I'm saying five working days at eight hours per day. All right, you need to read the fine print. Sometimes I may try and confuse you and say your week is a six working day week. So the hours increases, right? So you need to pay attention, especially in your test and your exam. Is it a week, five days? or your week, six days, all right? Also, eight hours a day. I might not tell you eight hours a day. I will tell you from 07H to 16H30 <clears throat> with a 30 minute lunch in between. You gotta work this out to get the number of working hours per day. All right, so not everything is going to be given to you. All right, so let's look at <clears throat> example one. So we got, now before I start the example, this is the methodology and process I want to see in your answers. Please do not deviate from this. Deviation from this means I got to go looking. If I don't see it, it's going to be wrong, unless the final answer is correct. All right, so. If you want to break it out into stepwise process, here's step one. Owning cost. And we're saying what? 16,000 minus 800 divided by 8,000 hours as the working life, and you're getting 190 per hour. All right, next one. Under owning cost, notice, is interest and taxes. And it's sitting at what? 10%, which is equal to 0 0.19 or 19 cents per hour. Repairs and maintenance at 20% is equal to 0 0.38 per hour. Where am I getting this from? Data sheet, okay? Data sheet. Notice it's not in the question, it's in the data sheet. How we know? Because this is a concrete mixer. So in our data sheet, we're going to look for concrete mixer. What is the interest in taxes? What is the repairs and maintenance? Unless I physically give it to you. All right, therefore, total owning cost is equal to what? Two rand 47 cents per Oh, tell you that up. And you should get 247 cents. All right, operating cost, same machine. <clears throat> Before we start the calc, let's get to the fine print. Our week is equal to five days at eight hours per day. Therefore, 
the few works out to be what? For eight hours per day, and we're getting seven liters times six rand per liter divided by eight hours, and we're getting a sum of five rand and 25 cents per hour. All right, next one is oil. Four, eight hours is equal to three liters times 14 liters divided by five days and further divided by eight hours. And we should get a sum of one rand and five cents per hour. Okay, so still the concrete moving. So we've done owning. Now we're looking at operating costs. And to close this out, almost total. Operating cost is equal to six rand thirty cents per hour, which is the sum of this and this. All right, and our grand total of both owning plus operating is equal to. 2.47 plus 6.30, and we have a cost of eight rand and 70 cents per hour. All right, if the mixer's output is 0 0.1 meter cube every five minutes that's given, all right? Then remember I said everything is down to per hour. Then its hourly cost or capability is, is 60 minutes over five, is equal to 12 times 0 0.1 is equal to 1.2 meter cube per hour. Therefore, therefore the unit cost in terms of production is 8.77 divided by 1.2 is equal to 7.31 cents per meter cube. All right, so that's our unit cost per meter cube for this particular machine. Now, like I said, we first crawl, then we walk, then we run. Notice under operating, we've got just fuel and oil. We come to bigger machines that require staff or an operator, staff to help the operator. So that's where we're gonna be putting them when we come to that particular type of question. All right. Example two. Calculate the cost of a quarter cubic meter back actor. What's a back actor? What's a back actor? All right, back actor is a TLB. All right, 
we'll talk about this particular machine. It's the machine that has a bucket in the front and a funny looking bucket in the back. All right, it has two different sizes of tires, bigger ones at the back and smaller ones at the rear. So we, for now, that's our back actor. Given the following purchase price, we bought it at 280,000 Rand and after 10,000 hours, it's value at only 20,000. It uses 16, hour, 16 liters of fuel per eight hour day, 12 liters of fuel per week. So you're gonna to have to do a calculation just as we've done in the last question. Tires cost now. Careful. Tires cost 7,500 Rand per set. Keyword here, per set. Remember I said your TLB has two large tires in the back and two smaller ones in the front. So we're buying a set of two different sizes of sizes, tires. Now, if this was not a back actor and this was, say, a truck, a 10 cubic meter truck, I would probably give you a cost for one tire. And you gotta work out how many tires you need in total. What I'm trying to get to do is this. You need to read the print. Am I saying per tire or am I saying per set of tires? All right, because if you get this per tire times four, then it's a substantial amount. It's gonna mess up everything in your calculations. All right, notice from the last question. Notice from the last question. We use this all the way, all the way down here. And that sum here carried all the way to this. If we mess up somewhere here, the ultimate answer is gonna be wrong. All right, so reading the five print is critical to this subsection of estimating. All right, I do give part marks, but who wants part marks when you can get everything? just by following and reading carefully. All right. All right, first thing, from the previous question, what was the first step? Remember this is TLB, all right? Not a concrete mixer. First one was owning cost. Two hundred and eighty thousand minus twenty thousand divided by ten thousand and be getting a cost of twenty six rand per per, per hour. All right, what's next? Interest and taxes. Interest and taxes. Ten percent. One ten percent and ten percent of two twenty six rand is two rand sixty cents per hour repairs and maintenance. Now let's look at this one maintenance at how many percent? Now, if you go back to your notes, right, if you look at page nine, what are we working with? We're working with a back actor, TLB, and it's given at 20%. Therefore, at 20% because it's a TLB is equal to, what's this, times two, five rand 20 per hour. All right, so total, <clears throat> owning cost is equal to that plus that plus that should be equal to 33 Rand and 80 cents per hour. 33 Rand and 80 cents per hour. All right, what's next? Mm -hmm. After owning, we're going to operate. Be 
to your operator. All right. <clears throat> All right, the week is five days and not six days. So we safe there. And we're looking at eight hours per day given to us. Eight hours a day. Let's say it's not in the question. So let's just say it's that until I tell you it's different. All right. Therefore, <clears throat> fuel for eight hours per day is equal to 16 meters times. Where did I get the six rand from? Previous question, okay. Six liters, six rand per liter divided by eight hours, and we're getting a cost of 12 rand per hour. All right, oil. Oil is a little bit complicated because it's per week. For eight hours per day is equal to 12 liters times 14 rand per liter divided by five days, divided by eight hours, as in the previous question, and we're getting what? Four and 20 cents per hour. All right, what's next? Remember the last question, we only did fuel and oil. Now this has tires. So tires falls under operating cost. Now remember the calculation for tires, all right? Tires, working life over life of tire minus one, which is the set that comes free when you buy the vehicle, is equal to 1.5. And what I say, it goes to the next highest, which is two sets, because you can't buy 1.5 sets, isn't it? Right. Hence, two sets at 7,500 Rand per set is equal to 15,000 Rand for tires. Therefore, tire cost for the life of this vehicle that you own is equal to 15,000 over 10,000 and we're getting a cost of one rand 50 per hour for tires. All right, to finish up, total operating cost is equal to that, 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 and we're getting a cost of 17 rand 30 cents per hour and total operating plus owning is equal to 33 plus 80 plus 17.77 we're getting a cost of 51 rand and 50 cents per hour right that's the end of the example. But before I go, before I stop this example, some things you need to consider. Remember, this is what it costs to own and operate this vehicle. But the company is running at a profit. This is not a non-profit organization. All right? How do we make profit? At the same time, this machine is not going to drive itself. It's going to need or require an operator. Where does that fit in? All right, so somewhere here in operating cost, we, in the next example, you will see, we're gonna bring in operating cost, sorry, operator, operator, person to drive it, right? And naturally, if we're hiring it out, we're gonna to have to make some profit. And if this is what it's costing us, 
where is our profit? All right, we'll look at that in the next examples. All right, let's look at All right, let's look at page 11. <clears throat> scaffolding. What's scaffolding? Scaffolding is that strange steel or strange structure that people use to get to higher points in a structure, okay? The simplest form of scaffolding, believe it or not, is a, is a ladder. You use a ladder to go higher and do some work, isn't it? So, you know, in, a, in short, scaffolding is basically some form of ladder. But it gets complicated because sometimes you can't just stand, you have to walk onto the scaffolding to basically plaster and lay bricks. So your scaffolding starts to get expensive and bigger. If it relates to only one trade, shuttering to decks off it, then bull it into the unit price of that item. If it relates to several trades such as bricklaying and plastering, then build it into the P's and G's. The cost is based on the higher cost and the labor cost. Now, I put it in here simply because you have an idea when you get to that stage. We won't be actually going into any sort of scaffolding calculation. All right, and these days, scaffolding, you need to get a company that can put it on and that it can sign it off, an inspector will sign it off that it is safe to use by people. All right, so it becomes complicated, it becomes expensive. We're not gonna go into that in this early stages of this subject. All right, overheads and profits. Now, remember the last question I said, company runs at a profit. Overheads and co are costs incurred as a result of maintaining an office with staff. Overhead costs must be allocated to all contracts as a percentage. If a company has an annual turn of 15 million rand and overheads are 750,000, its percentage overheads is 5%. This percentage is added to all the unit costs. Profit is also added as a percentage to all unit costs. All right, so back to this example, we're gonna add somewhere in here, add somewhere in here overheads. All right, if you want to give, get a proper, proper understanding and get a proper profit at the end of the day where everything is accounted for. All right. <clears throat> All right, page 12, 1.2, earthworks and excavations. The following factors have to be considered when performing earthworks and excavations. 